Yo, YouTube, man, what's going on? It's Gabe with just on the Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And also, comment down below your thoughts on the video. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Look, obviously, you know, big news yesterday. The Ravens hired Todd Munkin to be the new offensive coordinator. Uh, some people like it, some people didn't. Uh, good and bad with that. Yay. I never expect anything to be 100%, but, you know, it is what it is with that. But he is a new Ravens OC. So with that being said, it looks like some changes are going to come to Baltimore, right? Like a change going to come, right? So I was looking at Josina Anderson. She's been doing a great job of putting on a lot of, well, she's an interval report. She does a lot of great reporting in general. But when she was talking about the Raven stuff and Todd Monkin and things like that, she put out a couple of tweets that were interesting, all right? The determination on the final makeup and tapestry of the Ravens offensive staff will include a collaborative effort between John Harbaugh and new OC Todd Munkin, per league source, more decisions to come soon. All right. Now, that's just the first tweet. The second one, she said, there will be other staff hires and decisions. Ravens would like to make a comprehensive transition on offense. I sense energy from the addition of Munkin and desire for good vibes ahead. Um, then she gets over to talk about Lamar Jackson. Meanwhile, we'll watch this. We'll watch if the team and QB one come to terms or pivot to the tag slash reaction to the tag. All right. So we'll talk about all of that too, but pretty much what this first part sounds like to me is that, Hey, Tom Munkin and John Hubbard are going to sit down. Tom is going to say, Hey, look, John, you got some guys you like on the staff. That's fine. You can keep some of these guys, but some of these, some, some people, I need to bring some of my guys in here too. All right. So, there's going to be a change in at least a little bit of the philosophy on offense as far as who's going to be the building, who's going to be make, who's making some of the decisions here. All right. Todd Munkin is a good offensive mind, so obviously he wants people around him that probably know his system. So because imagine now that Todd Munkin is bringing in a whole new system, right? Okay. The the players got to learn it. But now not only the players, the coaches got to learn it too. So now he'd be teaching two sets of people. Instead, he can just bring in some people that he's familiar with who have experience in his offense and they can help out make that transition a little bit smoother, a little bit easier. So that's the main thing I take away from that section of it. Um, also, we got to think about the news that we heard recently. I didn't do a video about it, but the Ravens did talk to Cliff Kingsbury and it didn't sound like they talked to him to be the OC. Sound like they talked to him to become a part of, be a part of the staff. Maybe they informed him and let him know that they were bringing in a guy like Ty Munkin. Hey, and let me know if you're interested in joining the staff. Could be pass game coordinator, could be QB coach. I don't know. Uh, but that was something interesting that happened that, you know, we should keep an eye on. Maybe Cliff Kingsbury um, enjoys his year off or whatever, or maybe he comes in, be, be a part of a staff on the NFL roster. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, so, Tom Munkin is going to make changes, right? Now, he's going to bring in, like I said, he's going to bring in people who know his offense, know what he wants to do on offense, all right? Uh, so, that's the first part. Um, the second part is a comprehensive transition on offense. So for all the people who are saying that this is going to be the same thing as Greg Roman, this is going to be Greg Roman's offense 2.0. He's uh, uh, he's slightly better. Listen, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. I can't tell you how much different, but it's going to be different, man. All right. They're not going to say they're going to make a complete transition and don't do it. All right. Now, listen, I, I, I said this in the, I said to somebody in the comments, right, that. All right, if Tom Munkin gets wide receivers, he will use wide receivers. And, you know, they said to me, and, they, and they rightly, they said to me, well, the Ravens are probably not going to do that. They'll probably just get more corners, right? I said, no, that's, that's funny. But the truth is, when the Ravens have said something during the offseason, that we're going to rebuild this room, we're going to do this, they've done it. I, I'm not going to lie, they, they, they've done it. When the offensive line was struggling, when the offensive line was poor 2021, they said, we're going we're gonna to work and get the offensive line right. They did that. All right, they... They got Morgan Moses. They got the Lander bomb. They did. A, they 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 did moves to get that corrected. When the secondary in twenty twenty one was letting all the passes fly over top of their head, right? They corrected that. They got Marcus Williams in there. They they signed uh, a Kyle Fuller. Obviously, he ended up turning to ACL week one, but that was moves to help remake the secondary. They made moves to help remake the offensive line. So in my mind, if they say they're going to remake the wide receiver room, it's going to be remade. Will it be remade to our satisfaction? That's to be determined. That's the wait and see part of it. But they are going to make moves at wide receiver. Just, just based off their history of what they say, and they usually follow up and do it in some capacity. Will that capacity be enough? We shall see. All right. Um, but yeah, so the addition of Monkey and Desire for Good Vibes ahead. So I guess they want they're saying that, you know, Monkey can bring some of his guys in. They don't want to feel like it's friction in the staff. 
right? A new guy comes in, you gotta learn his offense, you might feel threatened, whatever. Uh, Tom Huckabee doesn't need any friction when he comes in. He brings in guys he trusts, he knows, that's gonna eliminate the friction, all right? Now, I was thinking about this offensive staff that's on the Ravens. I'm not gonna tell you I know everybody's name uh, all the way down the line, every position coach, I'm not gonna tell you that. But Keith Williams, the wide receivers coach, I would like to see the Ravens keep, keep Keith Williams. And here's why. You're gonna say, well, the Ravens don't develop any wide receivers, why would they keep the wide receivers coach? I'm not going to argue that point with you. But Keith Williams is a renowned and respected wide receivers coach. You can look him up. I think his name is Wideouts on, on Twitter. Devontae Adams works with this guy. Tyreek Hill works with this guy. A lot of star receivers go out and seek Keith Williams and work with him. He's known as the wide receivers guy. Well, I guess he's not a wide receivers coach here. He's the pass game coordinator. T. Martin is technically the wide receivers coach. But regardless, he's great. he does great work with wide receivers. So, if they were going to make some changes to the staff, a guy I want to see them keep is Keith Williams. You know what I mean? And honestly, T. Martin probably would be probably be a good addition to stick around to. All right. Um, now the the final part that we got to talk about, we'll see if the team can come to terms with QB one or pivot to the transition slash reacting to the tag. That's still the big remaining question mark here. How does Lamar Jackson feel about it? How does Lamar Jackson um, and the Ravens can they come to a deal? Right. Uh, I feel like. This fit for Ty Munkin and Lamar Jackson, it works. I do. Um, I think that Ty Munkin's going to bring a different offense. I think he's going to bring something that Lamar Jackson doesn't have to run a lot. All right? Stetson Bennett didn't run the ball a lot. Now, obviously, he's not Lamar Jackson, so that's 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 a different kind of comparison. But the QB run game wasn't a big part of what they did at Georgia. That's my, that's my main point. Will Lamar Jackson probably still run a little bit? Sure. Uh, but kind of think about how Jalen Hurst is used, right? He's not the only part. Of, he's not the run game. He's a part of the run game. And I think that's what Todd Monkey can bring here for Lamar Jackson. To not be the entire run game has to fall on him, but just to be a part of it. Um, so in that case, I think Lamar Jackson can like that. But to me, this really isn't about whether or not Lamar Jackson likes the new offense. I think that the Ravens did get his input on it as far as philosophy and things like that. And they got a guy that will help take his skill set to another level because he can scheme guys open in the pass game. This is really about whether or not Lamar Jackson and the Ravens could come to, come to deals, or come to terms, excuse me, on a, a deal that they both like. That's the main thing here. And that's the uh, the big unanswered unknown question, right? Um, one way or another, it's still my personal opinion. And hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll do the video and say I'm wrong. Um, is that Lamar Jackson will be a Raven at least for the next for, for next year. After that, I don't know. If a deal doesn't come after that, I don't know. But at least for next season, I feel like he'll be a Raven. Now, I think they're gonna give Todd Munkin the best opportunity this season to have a legitimate starting quarterback, uh, you know, former MVP, run the show, see how it goes, and we'll, we'll take we'll take it from there. Um, that's my opinion on it, honestly. I think Lamar Jackson will be a Raven next year. That's, that's just my opinion. Uh, so, look, I thought this was interesting, man. The Ravens are going to make some big changes to the coaching staff, and um, they're going to make a comprehensive transitional offense. Now, we'll see exactly what that means, but to me, that's positive news. That's good news. I can't hear that and be upset or negative about that part. Now we'll see what the moves they make are, and if the moves we make they make are not are not great, we'll talk about that obviously. All right, uh, but just want to share that news with y'all, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabe. This one's Fan TV. I'm out.